back YouTubers this is Darby and today we're gonna talk about uh, stippling uh, but before we talk about stippling we're going to use uh, GIMP uh, right over here's my little GIMP icon um, awesome freeware uh, very similar to uh, Photoshop uh, that's particularly why I'm not using Krita I'd prefer Photoshop over GIMP if you have it because I'm just used to Photoshop but uh, many of my students, uh, it's much easier for them to grab GIMP real quick because we're not going to use it a lot or Photoshop a lot. So I didn't feel like taking the time to load that on everyone's computer. So here is my um, GIMP. And this is your screen. You can you know, open and close it like normal. Okay, we have our layers, palette, and stuff over here. So I'm just going to breeze by a lot of things because you don't need to know everything. So we're going to go to File, and we're going to go to um, Open. And I'm going to look for a picture right down here. We're going to grab my little baby, Viridian, and um, rotate. So there's my picture of my little girl. And so we're going to do stippling on this. And this may or may not be the best image actually to, to work on stippling. Um, remember, uh, part of the requirements you know, as a person, head and shoulders is preferable. Um, we're also going to be doing um, uh, possible animals. Um, and so right now we're just going to do some enhancing that some artists do in their head. And we're going to use this program to help us think uh, clearer and uh, quicker um, and more consistently. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do, uh, we're going to get uh, toolbox options. Pop that over here. And then we're going to, you must forgive me, the crop tool. There we go. Okay, there we crop that. All right, and then so what we're going to do here is we're going to go under image. No, nope. layer tools. Select to. There we go. Desaturate and lightness. So there we go. Um, then what we're going to do is I'm going to go to layer, nope, image, color, sorry, color, and then I'm going to hit posterize. And so what I'm going to do here. So right here, I'm trying to get some um, definition and value where you see that light spot and that dark and that lighter and without I'm trying to get that subtle value without actually um, making it too difficult. So that's why I'm trying to change these numbers here. When you have them too low, it just doesn't look. Right, so I'm just playing with this until I can get a nice image here. That's cool, excellent. So this this works for me. Um, image, image, image. While I'm here, I'm just going to... So many things I remember in Photoshop. I oh, will just leave it the way it is. It's, it's really not that um, bad. So, Anyways, so this is what we're going to use. Um, what I'm definitely looking for, because you're probably asking yourself, what is this guy looking for? Um, and I guess the Z key works on this as well. We can zoom in. All right, so I'm looking for right here. There's a highlight. And here... The highlight and here's the highlight and here's the highlight and there's the shadows I want to see that the value change okay when you squint your eyes as an artist you should be able to see value change well here the computer's doing that all that work for us so I'm going to save this and then I'm going to print it out and then I'll show you on the next step what we're going to do so I believe we should just hit file one thing I did forget guys um because I'm not familiar with GIMP that well file Save. 
comes up right type in whatever it's an XCF file not a lot of help to us okay so you save it and whatnot but then you're gonna have to go to file export as and then I have my title here go down here I'm gonna move this thing up to JPEG and export uh, I'm gonna have all you know, save resolution that's fine um, export Yay. I'm going to get rid of that. And then I should be able to find, oh, there's a PNG file, which I want a JPEG. Whatever. And then I should be able to hit Command P on my Mac. And this is the size I want because we are going to be, change the printer, we are going to be working on a simple sheet of paper here, so. Bada boom. All right, thanks for watching. I hope this helps, and uh, I'll see you uh, later.